Morning chaps, here we go then. So we're going to be doing some uh, ellipses projected into cylinders. Again, we need our sheet taped to the piece of paper landscape. Now I've drawn a couple of uh, lines on here at 30 degrees. Obviously, you can use these lines to help you on the video, but when you come to do your own work, you'll just be using one of the lines running at 30 degrees, or indeed a line parallel to uh, one of those lines. It doesn't have to be exactly on the line, but I'm going to use these lines just to help you. So we're going to draw an, uh, a, a cylinder first, and the first thing we're going to do is draw with a long edge of our template lined up along the line, I'm going to draw an ellipse at the correct angle. I'm then going to slide my template back down and draw a second ellipse, or second half ellipse, and you can see the result there, and all I need to do now is connect the two together to get my cylinder. So I can draw a cylinder in that plane or I can turn the template round and again notice that I've lined up my long edge with the line, in fact I'll make it a bit clearer, I'll just line up the long edge with my line here, draw my ellipse, slide the template back along the 30 degree line, draw a semi ellipse and then connect the two together to give me my cylinder. The final one, boys, is for an ellipse or a cylinder which is in this plane in the 90 degrees. So again, I line up, just to, be, to clarify that, if I draw a 90 degree line here, I can line up my, the edge of my template with the 90 degree line, draw my ellipse, drop it down the 90 degree line, draw half an ellipse, and now I can just join the two together and I've got three cylinders in three different planes. Okay guys, so uh, just moving that theme on a little bit here, here we have a rectangular isometric cuboid which we want to turn into a cylinder. Uh, again, remember the golden rule is that the long edge of the template must line up with the 30 degrees. Now again, I've got three different options here. I can line it up this way, I can line it up this way, I can line it up this way. Only one way is correct and this is just something you're going to have to get used to with a bit of practice. If I want to draw an ellipse in a cuboid like that, then the template has got to be lined up this way with the 30 degree, the long edge lined up the 30 degree angle. And if you get the correct one, you will find, in this case it's going to be the 22, that it will fit slap bang in the middle of what I've just drawn. And then I can move that back here and draw a semi-ellipse. And then connect the two together. And there is your finished cylinder. A cylinder within a rectangular isometric isometric cuboid which you then rub out. If I have a, a shape like this for example and I want to round off the corners, again I need to use the template in the correct, at, at the correct angle and it's exactly the same, uh, again long edge lined up with the 30 degrees and now I can round off this corner just using a quarter of an ellipse. I can round off the bottom corner here I can round off this corner again with a quarter of an ellipse and the top corner with a quarter of an ellipse. And you can see how that's rounded off. I now need to round off the back edges over here, or the back corners. So quarter of an ellipse required. and quarter of an ellipse required. And quarter of an ellipse required here. Again, just connect them together. And you can see the shape has now got rounded uh, edges and core, well, rounded edges. Um, the last bit I want to show you here is uh, how to create a shape like this. If you look carefully, you will see that that is actually three ellipses in the three different planes. 
Okay, so I've started it off by drawing three intersecting planes uh, in the three different planes of isometric, and I can now take my template and draw uh, three quarters of an ellipse here. Turn it so that it's lined up the 30 degrees and draw three quarters of an ellipse there. Turn it a third time and line it up with the 30 degree angle and draw three quarters of an ellipse there. You can see the shape beginning to come together now and then I just add in one, two, three, and I've created the outline of the shape I've just shown you. Finally, chaps, and I really do mean finally now, if we have, for example, an exploded view of the wrapper and you want to round off the corners as it tells you, then you're going to need to use the template this time with the 90 degrees lined up. Uh, sorry, with the long edge of the template lined up with the 90 degrees. So here we'd use a quarter of an ellipse to round off this corner. We'd use another quarter to round off this corner. We'd use the third quarter to round off this corner and the fourth quarter to round off the final quarter. And now you've got the wrapper that you need for your uh, LED torch with the corners rounded off correctly. Drawing the LED boys, we want to draw uh, an LED at a scale of two to one. Uh, so I've already drawn one for you there. I'm just quickly going to show you how to go about it. So you need to set up your uh, template as before, as always, with the long edge on the 30 degrees. We're going to use the 14 mil. We're going to draw part of the body of the LED. We're going to slide back at 30 degree angle and draw a semi ellipse. And we're going to connect the two together. Then we need to think about the actual LED itself, which is 10 millimeters. So we're now going to say, Again, making sure that we're lined up at 30 degrees, drawing a half an ellipse in the correct place, and then we're going to project that at 30 degrees and then if I had uh, a circle template with me I would use that to round that off, but I haven't, so I'm just going to freehand a semicircle and then I could finish off this the, the body section of the LED by continuing that 14mm ellipse here and here and finally I just need to draw in the leg so I just draw two random lines to begin with at an angle like that and then just draw 30 degree angles one two and there is the finished light emitting diode